right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Man, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, got a lot of little, a little bit of news uh, to talk to y'all about today, man. People not happy with the glitching situation. Some people are happy that they getting unbanned and stuff like that. And your boy Joe Knows is talking about something that's very controversial in the community. Does 25 defense matter? Can you make it with it? So if y'all do nothing else, man... Make sure y'all stay to the end of the video. We're going to try to make it around by eight minutes or so. Maybe, maybe a little bit longer than that. And if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let me know if y'all like that Call of Duty uh, video that I dropped earlier, man. Go back and like that joint. And uh, other than that, let's just get right into it. There you go! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, so for, first off and up first, you got your guy delayed. Uh, first 48, man, he's just saying make this go viral, man. I'm just going to let the man talk and we're going to listen to the video. I'm going to get my opinion after it. So this is something that, like, should have been said and been done. And I was just getting to the point where, like, for me at least, like, enough is enough. So we got all of these streamers, right? These bigger streamers. These Tassinos, these Aidens, all these other people. Like, people follow cheesers. We got all of these streamers, right? And we as a community is not holding them accountable. You know what I'm saying? They're the voice or they're, like, the middleman between, like, us and, like... The devs and Ryan I agree with that. They are. Nonsense, right? They are the voice and the middleman. 2K bans <clears throat> pretty much the whole PlayStation 5 community, right? Over losses of funds. And theoretically, they probably lost around right like so. $1,000 or whatever in total. And rightfully so. Right? Think about the money that this company makes on a, on a, a annual salary. You know what I'm saying? For one, they don't ever fix their servers. They got events going on right now that are unplayable. The game itself is unplayable, but they spend their time to do stuff like that. How many of us have played Tell events and not gotten our rewards? Time. How many of us have not been able to play the game because the servers are down? Or the game is unplayable, but all they care about is the dollar. You know what I'm saying? Any other community, if this would have happened in any other community, unplayable games, stuff like that, and they would have focused their attention on something that was their fault people clicking a free button which is their fault they make a game Not they don't really ever their play their game they see what's the, the glitches or the downfalls or whatever yeah. they just throw any product out there because they know we're going to get it that's we got to stop we're making competition. new accounts and spending vc just because we're fiending a plate like we really all need to come together and just boycott this company and i guarantee you the changes and stuff that we want is going to happen but we're not smart enough to do that we can't unify hey, like any other community we that. unify to get hey, changes and get that. things it's done that we work. need to get done like it's terrible if they literally get along they get away with this they're going to keep everybody banned and people are already making new accounts for what man like for what and I understand where he's coming from. I understand what he's saying, but I'm going to tell you one thing for certain, two things for sure. Any company that is a good company will stop a cash flow hemorrhage before they stop, before they fix anything else. All these companies that was, that was you know, when, when the whole uh, pandemic hit and stuff like that, everybody was like, you know, man, we're not going to do drive up. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. Government said, <laughs> if you don't do it, you're not going to do nothing. What they did, everybody changed their tune. The biggest thing is, I do agree that, that that those guys that you mentioned are the people who are the voice of the community, and in some cases, in some regards, they should come to the forefront and say things, but you don't make your career in 2K by speaking out against them and stuff like that, and if you don't believe it, look at me, look at Swante, look at Brute, look at a lot of other people that, that's all we do is talk about the issues, but then we also highlight when they do good too. So I'm not I'm not gonna lie about that. But you you understand what I'm saying? You just don't. You gotta be you you in for any company. They're not really gonna push you if you're not a yes man. I, I do feel like 2K pushes people, and I feel like I'm shadow banned because that's all. I don't I don't speak negatively about the game. I just tell the truth. But I will tell you this. Uh, when they write, they write. The biggest thing is, if I had a group of people that like y'all know that people, that's all they do as soon as the game comes out is try to break the game. So with that being the case, 2K has to have a group of people that all they do is try to fix the game. Like you can't, you, let me see somebody turn in some perfect work. You can't turn in a perfect work uh, when you're doing anything. If you can make something, somebody can unmake it. So because you got a group of people that that's all they're trying to do 
is break the game. And they got they got plenty of time because they staying at home. They don't got a job. They ain't doing nothing. They just sitting there, like like Bruce said yesterday, clearing reserve space, doing this over and over, trying to break the game. So you have to have a group of people that's doing that. You, you tell you tell the community stop trying to break the game at every turn. Then maybe 2K don't have to concentrate on that, and then they can they can concentrate on this server optimization and we don't have choppy city in the ghetto like we got right now so it's a double-edged sword it's a two-way street you can't just do what you want to do if somebody comes and breaks in my store or burn the store to the ground or do something like that a group of people do that and then the store is not open tomorrow because y'all broke the store and i gotta get the store fixed then like like how you gonna complain that it's closed you did it your community killed the whole thing so now i gotta i gotta do what i gotta do and so that's what it, that's what they kind of that's what you have to kind of look at this as they're not available something that's offline and not available because like look i'm not excusing it they should not have released this game in this condition at all but there are certain things from a server standpoint that you just can't do until you get enough people on it and you stress test it a lot of times when we push stuff out in the in the, in the, in the networking world what we'll do is we'll come in we'll um we'll come in we'll we'll do you, you know, you, you test, you do a, a sandbox first, then you apply it to the real server, then you uh, deploy it in pods to see what, uh, with dissimilar hardware, to see what type of issues you'll have and stuff like that. But like I said, you just really have to, uh, like the community has to take some responsibility in that too. And now uh, we can't boycott because we ain't got no other basketball game. There's no competition. That's why it's important that we buy live and, and support live and all that. Because if we don't, this is what you end up with. They can actually say, like if, I, if my store goes down because y'all broke into my store, I got to get it back up as quickly as possible because people will go somewhere else. They don't have that problem. So not, not only do they have no competition, but we cause the problem. So, you know, it is what it is. It sucks to look at it from that standpoint, but that's just where, that's just what it is, man. Up next, uh, y'all let me know if y'all agree or disagree down in the comment section. They can do something and it can be their fault, but they can still take their time fixing it because they don't have competition. And, uh, so, and we don't buy live and we don't fund live and uh, there's just no other game to play. So that's why people gonna keep playing. Nay, got unbanned from PSN. It could have been a console ban. You're absolutely right about that. Uh, they did a VC white, which I think is more than fair. Look at the growth and the and the contrition with Nay, man. Look at him, man. He, he know he did something. Instead of saying, ah, 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 they 2K did this to me. He said, I did something wrong. They banned me. Uh, I got unbanned and it was more than fair. And like I said, it, it's cool because if he takes that approach, maybe the rest of the community take that approach. And now uh, he's one of the people up in the community too. And it's just like, yo, if we try to like, like I would say like we people would might say, if we do it that way, it ain't gonna matter because 2K ain't gonna blah, blah, blah. But how do we know when we never have tried it? We, there was never a year that people didn't just try to find a glitch just right off the bat and then have a VC glitch that they had to dedicate resources to fixing. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> Tassino talks about it. Looks like 2K unbanned all the people who glitched VC but did a wipe on their VC, uh, including, the, uh, including the amounts. Uh, do you think that's fair? You're damn right it's fair because the people that glitched it, they got Zens anyway. They're going to they gonna grind it back up the right way anyway. The right wrong way with the zen so it don't even matter you know you know damn well they zen in the wind out there bro uh also tacino says for context he's talking about the post hooking thing yesterday he's talking about what a great day that post hooking got got knocked off he said for context he's been clout chasing off my name for the last three months he's been clout chasing off my name for the last three months and just made a video on TikTok uh claiming i got him banned and i absolutely did nothing yeah I can't get mad at it though, man. If somebody been clout chasing and doing this stuff, hey, back when I was big in Call of Duty and stuff, bro, I used to be the same way. Like people get knocked off for um, for uh, you know, mess with me. Like they, they had the J tag back then, right? So people would would troll and play you over and over and all that stuff. And uh, you know, they had a J tag when they got knocked off for that J tag. I was happy when they got knocked off. I'm not even gonna cap. It just is what it is. Um, you know, I can't get mad. Somebody trolling you and their sole purpose is to troll you and they're taking the time away from your business when you're trying to do something. Does this sound familiar with what I was just talking about? You taking time away from me and I got to put time to you instead of just entertaining my stream. Yeah, I'm going to be happy when something happened to you too. And last but not least, man, we got Joe Knowles' video, bro. Did an excellent video on 25 interior defense. How does it matter? Uh, but most importantly, I think he did the thing on how you can play around it and why he said he feels like he can do it. And the main thing is because he got Intimidator and he got Rim Protector. If he didn't have those two badges, you know, you can't get stuff like this right here. That's not going to happen. 
you're not going to intimidate somebody. Intimidators on Hall of Fame. But see, I feel like a lot of people are not telling y'all this stuff when they're saying you can get away with 25 interior defense. They're not telling you why you're able to get away with the 25 interior defense. Go watch Joe Noah's video. Ain't like you need a shout out from me. I'm giving him one anyway. That's my guy. It is what it is. But you know, I just like videos like this when they say you can do this and you can get away with it. But if you're a guard and you can't get intimidated, you can't get rim protected, yeah, you probably might not want to go with 25 interior defense. I'm a center. I like to do things a different way. And I know I'm going to play inside. I know the role on my team. So I got max interior defense. And I really felt like I couldn't put it anyway, anywhere on the center or anywhere else that was going to make my guy better. And y'all see that this guy is broken anyway. Y'all see I ain't missed no shots and stuff like that. So you know it is what it is. But uh, just like I said, go check out the video, man. Let me know what y'all think. And let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are you are you team interior defense on low? Do you have just enough the way you feel like you can get by? Or do you just you just say, forget it. It is what it is. Because uh, they showing them getting some nasty snatch blocks. But you're not going to get those snatch blocks if you don't have uh, the right badges. Uh, in order to do it but anyway i gotta get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh let me know what you think down in the comment section should i do more call of duty and stuff and uh y'all holler me next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys,